Okay, second grade, we're going to attempt doing an art project over video. And yesterday I sent to you a, an image of daffodils that are in a vase. And so on your paper, we're going to face the paper up down. And we're going to start by drawing a vase. I thought it was so appropriate for us to do daffodils because they're blooming right now, they're beautiful, and they symbolize hope for a cure, it symbolizes new beginnings. So, I'm going to find the middle of the paper, and this is going to be the top of your vase. Now, for you, I would use pencil, a pencil right now and an eraser. I'm going to use black so you can see it better. Okay, so I'm starting at the center of the paper and I'm going to do the opening of the vase. So it's going to be an oval shape. And then it's going to curve in on both sides. And then from that little curve in on both sides, it's going to go out to the bottom like this. And I left a little space down here because then I can do the bottom of the vase, which is going to be similar to the top, except it's going to be thinner not as big of a gap like we did on, on the top. Okay, so there's our vase. Now, I'm going to keep it simpler with the daffodils. I'm not going to face them sideways or have them looking upwards. I'm going to have all the daffodils facing this way because it's the easiest way to draw. So we can put several daffodils in this vase. I'm going to put a water line right here. This is where the water is in the vase. When we color it, this will be a light, light blue to show that that's water. And I'm making this a clear vase, so I won't be coloring the vase. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not going to do the stems yet. First, I'm going to do the flower part. And it starts with a circle. Then, you're going to squiggle, squiggle, squiggle around the circle. So you have your circle shaded in, and then you're going to squiggle, squiggle, squiggle around the circle. And now we're going to do the petals. Petals are going to look similar to leaves, and they will be pointed at the tips. So you can do about six petals, like this. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Okay, so there's a daffodil right there. And you can choose somewhere to put a stem down into the water. And then I'm going to make this stem thicker 
like that. And later on, I'll color that green. Okay, and then we can do some petal detail just by doing a couple lines like that. So there's one daffodil. We're going to keep repeating and do several of those. All right, so I'm going to do another daffodil. I'll make this one higher. I'm gonna start with my circle. And then I'm going to squiggle, squiggle, squiggle around the circle. And then do my pointed petals. It's like on this one, I'm just going to have five petals. And on here, I'm going to make my stem go behind the first flower I drew. So I'll go like this, goes behind, down into the water. And the stem is thicker. So I just go right alongside the first line I drew. All right, so we have two daffodils. I'm going to keep repeating and do a few more. So I'm going to start with my circle, then I'm going to squiggle And you can see as I start filling up with the flowers, the flowers are going to start touching each other. And that's okay. It's okay when you are doing art for things to start touching. That's real life. It overlaps. So when I do this petal, I can make it look like it went behind that one. So I'm not showing the tip. And when I do this petal, it slightly went over the tip of that one. I'm going to keep drawing. So that one I made go behind that. If I had a pencil, I could make it go in front more and then erase the other one I drew. But since I'm doing it in marker, I don't have that erasing ability all right so you can do that to make it look like it goes in front if you don't want to go behind i'm going to put my petal detail up here add more petals here and my stem. Okay, so there's three daffodils. I go up here, squiggle around my circle, squiggle, squiggle. That one goes off the paper. So far, most of my daffodils are just having five petals. All right. And now I need a stem on this one. Okay. Now I'm going to put another daffodil over here. 
I'm going to start filling up my paper. Squiggle around my circle, petal. Stem into the water. I made this stem go over that one, and when I color, it'll be blocked in. So I could stop there, but I'm going to put another one down here, and then I'll have six. Squiggle, petals, and stem into the water. All right. We're going to start coloring. I'm hoping since this video is longer that I can send it to my email and then upload it on my YouTube for you to see the whole duration. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to draw color in the water. It'll be just a really light blue. I'm using crayon. all the way to the bottom of the vase there. So there's the water. Okay. I have a, looks like I have three kinds of green crayon. So that's cool. Then I can make the stems more realistic. All right, so I'm going to color just some parts with that green on all of them. Switching greens, overlapping where I was coloring. All right, and I have one more green left. Now we'll fill in all the rest of the stem. Now I'll go back. and use my darker one so it doesn't look as stripey. It's blending all three greens. All right, now I'm ready to do the flowered part. So I'm gonna get yellow here and orange. Okay, so around the center where I did the 
dot, I'm going to do orange, and where I did those accent lines, I'm going to do orange, and then the rest I'm going to color in yellow. Starting to look really cool. I'm sure yours also looks really cool. Okay, so I can do that on all of them. I'm just gonna do orange around that center circle and then on all these lines. that I accented the petals with. And then I can color in yellow. Now all of you remember our artists and all of these are supposed to look different. Shouldn't look exactly like mine and yours shouldn't look exactly like anyone else's. And that's what I love about art. We're artists and God is our master artist. There we are. Now I can color in solid yellow. Now you might choose to paint. If you have that at your house, you can paint, you can watercolor. Use marker. Use what you choose. If you were doing pencil first, then when you're done with the pencil part and you really like it, you can outline it with black. It makes it pop. So maybe you want to hang this up for you to remember that there's hope for a cure. Our God can cure anything. All right, and maybe you also want to think, hmm, I could give this to someone and they would love it. And then this can become a gift. I hope that you're finding ways to put art into your day. And I'm so glad that you decided to watch this and do this. I love it. I want us to keep doing art together. Yay! It's complete!